What exactly are you doing? Oh, come on. I see the blood on your hands. You're not fooling anyone. Okay. So you killed someone. That's fine. I'm not gonna judge you. I've done it plenty of times before. I don't care. You do what you want. We're in fucking hell, man. <laughs> Why do you think anyone here gives a shit what you do? <laughs> right. Well, don't let me stop you. Go on. What do you mean, what do I mean? What, you're just gonna leave the body there? Why? There are plenty of things that you can do with a body. And leaving it to rot out in the hot sun? Not one of them. No. God, who taught you how to kill someone? Alright. Let me share with you a couple of my favorite methods, alright? Then, we can figure out what to do with this little son of a bitch you got here. What did it do, anyway? Oh. Gave you a look, huh? <laughs> yep. Oh, no. No, I don't care. Uh, I kill people for worse. <laughs> uh, less, I suppose. I mean, once. <laughs> once, uh, I was at a diner with my little brother, and he wanted pancakes, but, uh, the chef, chef had just run out of maple syrup, couldn't be fucked to go get a new bottle, and I killed him for it. Keep that on the down low, though, because no one knows it was me, because I know how to hide my goddamn bodies, all right? This is why you do that. Yes, because if people come after you, it's going to be your own goddamn fault, and I'm not going to save your ass. Yeah, I could. I've saved your ass plenty of times. Remember that bar fight you got into? Who do you think spoon-fed you soup for a week while you were trying to get your mouth working again? Ugh, best week of my life didn't have to hear your fucking voice. Alright. So. Let's see. Imp. Uh, not too big. I can work with this. Okay. Some of my methods are a little time consuming. So let me just run through them for you. First, one of my personal favorites. In the house, we got a big walk-in freezer. Now, I like to hang bodies in the freezer. Wait until they get nice and hard. Don't look at me like that. Wait until they harden up, and then smash them into little itty-bitty pieces. It's real easy. Now, you can either do that with a hammer or a chisel, or another one of my favorites, you can put them through a wood chipper. And you have to make sure that the body is hard enough to go through the wood chipper, because if you don't, then you're just going to have a big, mushy mess, and nobody wants that. It's so much to clean up. No, you gotta make sure the body is completely frozen all the way through. Then, once you got all those little itty pieces, uh, itty bitty pieces, you chuck them in a bucket, and well, however many buckets it takes, label it chum, and sell it to greed, or envy, because those two. Those two have the most water and have the most fishing going on, so if you call it chum and you use it as bait for fish, well, no one's going to find that body, are they? It's fish shit by the time anyone realizes what's going on. I know, I know. Please, please, hold your applause to the end. There are other methods. Now, if you really want no remains. I've got a couple of hookups in the pride ring. 
I don't know if you've heard of Cannibal Town, uh, but it's it's pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. It's a it's a town full of cannibals, and you kind of just sell them. I sell bodies by like <laughs> the barrel full, uh, wheelbarrow full. It it's a lot, and uh, it's it's a very lucrative business. But they're also very picky eaters, which sucks. So they only really like eating like sinners. And it's not often that I kill sinners, so probably not going to be the best option for now. Although, you can get a couple of cannibals because imps are kind of rarer up in the higher levels. Um, you can get a couple of cannibals who do have a taste for imps specifically. I think I might know one or two, but uh, they could be dead by now because, you know, the extermination just happened, but... Is worth fucking asking, I suppose. Uh, what else? Um, taxidermy. Taxidermy is always a thing. Uh, people in pride love imp taxidermy. I don't know why. I do not know why. It's kind of terrifying. Um, also, something real fucked up. You can sell them to the lust ring. I've done that a couple times. Uh, I don't ask what they do with the bodies. I don't ask. I don't care. You know, it's not my problem anymore. As long as it's off my territory, off my turf. As long as no one can trace back to me. And it's not, <laughs> it's not any of my business, I suppose. Should I be asking? I, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know why the Lust Ring wants dead bodies, alright? So I don't ask <laughs> and I don't think you should either just a warning what was that you want to bury it god I just gave you the most creative ways to get rid of a body and you tell me you want to bury it why oh it's the least amount of effort have you ever dug a human sized hole before no? Yeah, well, I can tell you it's not a lot of fucking fun. No, I ain't gonna help. Why would I help you? No, I, I, I already helped you. I gave you, like, a million different ideas. And you said, no, I want to bury it. Are you stupid? Are you fucking stupid? You know what? I'll, I'll help you with one thing, okay? I'll get you a shovel. I'll get you a shovel so you don't have to dig with your bare fucking hands. Or claws. No, I told you I'm not helping. Nope. I'm just gonna sit back here and watch. Uh, you can look at me like that all you want, but I'm not gonna help unless you're nice. Yeah, come on, you gotta ask nicely. Ask me nicely. It's like, please, Sailor May, please help me bury the body. Good job. There, was that so hard? Oh, you actually wanted me to help? No. No, I just wanted you to say that and make a fool of yourself. No, I ain't helping. I told you I wouldn't. And I stick to my morals. I'm a woman of my word. Have fun.